Don't touch that dial. Don't go away. Coming up next is Media News number 186, and we're going to talk about, what are we going to talk about? Oh, Angry Birds. Angry Birds is getting the movie treatment, and we're going to talk all about that because it's going to be great. Also, we're going to talk about Tron 3, which is also coming your way, which is going to be great. <laughs> and we're going to wrap it all up with talking about Alice in Wonderland 2, which is going to be What's better than mean? great. This is an all-diarrhea version. It's going to be headache-inducing. <laughs> right after this. Alternate reality now opens at 10.30 instead of 11 on Sundays. It's in half an hour sleep over this. And so you guys better show up. All their news has been fact-checked by the Magic 8 Ball. Here's Comic Book Man and JR. Doing our part to combat global warming. Getting a little cooler every day. Media News, episode 186. Textify. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for Media News. What media else would news. It be time for? Media News. Media News is coming to you from this place. Alternate reality. Located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate reality where all my new comics are always 15% off every day for every one. JR, Blah. this is going to be an all media edition, yes. genre media news yes. edition of media news. And we're going to start off with one of the most popular apps, <laughs> most popular apps that you can get on your phone. At least it was about a year ago. Now nobody gives a rat's ass about it. But once upon a time, this was hot as a pistol. And of course, I'm talking about Angry Birds! Oh, they're so angry, those birds. It's angry like, Birds! Heck your eyes out, maybe. Well, it's not to fly in the face of, of what you've said, but Angry Birds is as popular as ever because. The people that make Angry Birds have decided to do alliterations of Angry Birds. There's different, f you know what they just released, Comic Book Man? Oh, tell me. That is that is being downloaded so quickly that 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 the wires in, in your in your neighborhood are shrinking. <laughs> Star Wars Angry Birds. Oh, <laughs> thank you, George Lucas, for selling Star Wars to Disney. <laughs> oh, and can can zombie uh, Angry Birds be far behind? Uh, I will tell you this: since 2009, when Angry Birds, the birds was, have lightsabers, right? was was inundated onto the interwebs, which is what three years ago now. Yeah. One billion downloads. Yes. Book Man. One billion downloads. I don't think it's as popular today as it was then. Otherwise, I don't think we'd be having Star Wars Angry Birds in the I'm, first place. I'm playing Angry Birds right now. <laughs> you are. Right now in my noodle. I'm playing the skin flute right now in my noodle. <laughs> it's hell of a lot I, I'm, after this week, we're not doing this show together anymore, is it? Oh, but, what, believe me, I'm not thinking what? of you. <laughs> Don't what, worry about that. What could be? What happens when something becomes so immensely popular? What? Comic book man, they make a movie out of it. Oh Christ! They're making a movie making out of this. A, yes, if Baloney suddenly became popular, we would have Baloney the movie. Uh, uh, Jr. What? Is Liam Neeson in this movie? <laughs> Where's my phone? <laughs> Summer of 2016, ladies yes. and gentlemen, Angry Birds. Oh, well, see, there's your first problem. It's not the summer 2015. <laughs> completely lost in the they, summer. You know, they totally missed the 2015 window. John Cohen, who produced uh, Despicable Me yes. and the recent Elvin and the Chipmunks reboot. <laughs> the man's a genius. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a CGG. I'm getting headachey just telling you this story, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a CG animated. It's not the hemorrhage. <laughs> not a tumor. CG animated feature film. Uh, it's going to be produced by former chairman of Marvel. Marvel Studios, Dave Mizell. Whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so they're Angry Birds coming in, in 2016. Okay, so it's going to be a big CGI thing. Big CGI. Oh, I am sure that by 2016, nobody will care about Angry Birds no. anymore. <laughs> no. I am sure that there will be something else out there. Uh, the headache clearing up now. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> because the Equalizer's here. You remember the Equalizer? <laughs> oh, it's coming back. You remember the Equalizer yes, back Edward, in the mid-80s? Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward. We've talked about the Equalizer before here. Uh, we've got an update on it. It was a very popular series Bo, Bo loved the Equalizer. Yeah. He loved the Equalizer. Yes, yes, yes. It was Edward Woodward's series where he played an ex-CIA or something uh, spy who was retired, but he used all of his CIA knowledge, all of his CIA tricks, all of his know-how. To be a, to a sort of a vigilante. Be sort of a vigilante. If you had a problem, you called the equalizer. Yes. And he would help you. He would help people who are being victimized in one form or another. Right. And he was a, a loner and all this other thing. Well, of course, like anything that uh, hasn't been around on television for years and years, that is becoming a feature film as well with Denzel Washington, one of our very best actors right now, stepping into the role of Edward Woodward. Really? The equalizer. Yes. Okay. So, does it every week. That's, that, that, that's, exactly that's an, right. an odd and interesting uh, choice. It's a good choice, which yeah. elevates the material as does the new choice for director, Nicholas Winding Refn, who made one of my top ten films last year called Drive. 
Oh, yeah, Oh, Drive, okay. Yeah. Uh, which had Albert Brooks was robbed of a Best yeah. Supporting Oscar in that film because right. he, he should have been nominated. That was a great He was great in that. He was great in that. He uh, should have gotten a Best Supporting Oscar. This actor. is going to be a small scale, a, as much as a $50 million price tag can be a small scale film, but this is going to be a tight, small budgeted film. Uh, reference directing it. It looks like uh, the last I read it's going to come out in 2014. 16, not 15, 2016. But this, this Again, is a, missing that summer 2015 window that everybody's piling I'm in. I'm willing on. to wait. If Ref, uh, uh, Winding Refn is directing this and Denzel Washington's in it, uh, I'm looking forward to it in ways I never thought I'd look forward to an equalizer. Uh, now, is Denzel going to be flying a plane in this? <laughs> Drunk. <laughs> drunk be, the, be the drunk equalizer. Was that a spoiler? Did I spoil flight for people out there by DJ? No. And at this, well, at this point, if they did, if you did, you know, you really need to get out. Quick note about flight. If you've seen the trailer, that does not sell that film the way it's meant no. to be. There's, and, no, it looks there's like, no way to sell that movie the it, way it was. It makes it look out. like it's an Erwin Allen disaster film about yeah. a guy trying to land a plane upside down. And it's, it's not really about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's no, it's better than that. It's better than that. It's better than that. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, Tron 3. Oh, God. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a headache just thinking about for it. Those, Tron 3 for those, is coming your way. It's been fast-tracked over at Disney. Now, now Tron 2 came out, and, and you you haven't seen it, have you? No. It, it's a when did it come out? It came out last Christmas. Okay. Last Christmas. Oh, oh Tron 2. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm thinking that Tron 2 was, was a reboot of Tron 1, but it wasn't. No. It was a sequel. Tron Legacy. Yes, yeah, Tron. It was okay, a sequel. Okay. Uh, it I'm still getting a headache, though, from Tron <laughs> This is your all-headache edition of the video. Uh, that film came Aren't out... they all? <laughs> it, it grossed about $400 million worldwide, yeah. but it cost $250 million. Now, Disney said, that's a respectable gross, but we could probably make another one for less money and make more money off of this thing. So they fast-tracked uh, a Tron 3. By the way, if you've never Jeff seen... Jeff Bridges going to be in it? Uh, no talk of Jeff Bridges at this point, uh, but however, Bruce Boxleitner is already signed up for it. He's cheap. And for those of you that are really looking forward to Tron 3, I, have you seen Tron Legacy comic book fan? I have seen it in TV stores. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I Last it. year I bought myself a big screen TV over at H.H. Over at, uh, H. Gregg. Oh, it was playing all over the place yeah. last year. Yeah. So I sort of saw it because I spent a lot of time in H.H. Gregg, I, I, which... Playing it in the background. Your, your intrepid uh, film reviewer saw saw this film in the in the theaters, as yeah. they say, and I can best describe it as a, a long walk up a slow uh, a big hill. It's sort of like the first one. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So look for more of the same. Yeah. Uh, finally, Disney. And Disney once again. Disney is going to be doing a sequel to the interminably bad Alice in Wonderland. Now this is their animated Alice in Wonderland that they did way back when. No. No. No, this is the this is the sequel to the Tim Burton. Oh, Alice that one. one. I thought yes. cuz I was going to say, you know, I think that they already sequelized that on direct to video, the well, animated one. But no. Oh, this, the animated one they have. You're but right. But this this is the This the, is the sequel is the to the one. Tim Burton film, which oh, okay. which is well known for being a lot of people in their opinion and in my opinion, if not one if not the worst, but one of the worst Tim Burton. <laughs> Absolutely no interest from a director that I've that I've seen in a movie. I'm just going through the motions. Now does that include Dark Shadows? But, uh, oh, no, 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 got me there. Gotcha. Planet of the Apes is pretty, pretty bad. Planet of the Apes is, is, is pretty bad as well. Yeah. But uh you know, this thing came out, and it did $1.1 billion worldwide. It is one of the top ten grossing films of all time worldwide, which means we're getting the inevitable sequel. Worldwide being the operative word yes. in that sentence, because yes. it made a ton of money overseas, because it's Alice in Wonderland, which translates overseas. And, and did, Tim Burton's vision Depp translates and overseas. Johnny Depp and Johnny well. Depp So, I mean, so uh, it was something that was made to make money around the world. The same screenwriter... God help us. Linda Wolverton, who wrote the first film, is writing the second film. No word yet on Tim Burton's involvement. Oh, if we can, can hope. We yeah, we can. can. So you're going to say Lancelot Link. And that, that's it. Have we, have we sickened you enough on this uh, edition? <laughs> we have, because we're done. We're finished, Rob, here. We've got no more media news. But go to the store's website. Check out all of the media news that JR yeah, doesn't I, send me, no. Bo sends me, but the <laughs> reviews that JR sends me I, that I post I up there. I was just going to agree with that, too. I was like, and, yeah, I send you news. And, and, and where? Where, you might ask... Where can you find Where? the media news at? Well, Where? there's one person who knows. She's busy right now. And she's busy right now. Does the word oblivious mean anything to you? www.myalternatereality.com So stop off at the store's website. Check out all his reviews and all Bo's news. And until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is good old JR. Saying, happy Mayan apocalypse. Bye. Were you the Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.